These videos will demonstrate the installation of a Garmin wireless backup camera. Professional installation is recommended, but if you are comfortable with connecting to existing wiring and possibly drilling into your vehicle, you can perform this installation yourself. In this video, I will go over the basic installation needs of the backup camera and discuss some of the tools you may need. The camera mounts to the back of your vehicle or trailer and connects to the transmitter, which sends video wirelessly to the Garmin device. The transmitter is wired to a power source on the vehicle or trailer. The camera can be mounted to the license plate or secured directly to the vehicle. For this demonstration, we will be mounting the camera on the license plate. The transmitter must be connected to an existing power source on your vehicle in order to transmit the video feed. You can connect the transmitter to any 12 volt power supply on your vehicle, but it is typically connected to a switch supply, specifically the supply that powers the reverse lights on your vehicle. When connected to a switched supply, the video will automatically appear on your Garmin device when you place the vehicle in reverse. When connected to a constant supply, the video is accessible at any time, but you must actively switch to the camera on your Garmin device. For this demonstration, we will be connecting the transmitter to the wires that power on the reverse lights. The camera must be connected to the transmitter, so the transmitter can send video wirelessly to your Garmin device. To route the cable from the camera to the transmitter, you must find a way for the cable to enter the vehicle. Some vehicles may require you to drill a pass-through hole in the appropriate location. A drill and drill bits are needed to create this hole. The camera mounting bracket must be secured to the vehicle, typically on the license plate. A number two Phillips screwdriver is needed to secure the bracket to an existing license plate screw. When you connect the transmitter to the wiring on your vehicle, you must make the connection securely. The equipment needed to make this connection is not provided with the wireless backup camera because the connection location and gauge of wiring will vary depending on your vehicle. You can use wire splice connectors or solder and heat shrink tubing to make this connection. If you will be making the connection in a location that is exposed to the elements, you must use either weatherproof wire splice connectors or solder and heat shrink tubing to protect the connection. For this installation, we will be using wire splice connectors in a protected location on the vehicle. To reliably locate the reverse light wires or constant power source on your vehicle, you may need to use a multimeter to test the connection. After you have made and tested all the connections, you may want to use cable ties to secure any loose cables to your vehicle. In the next video, we'll discuss how to select the component locations.